Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome, welcome. I just put my little boost in I'm gonna do my Leos. I'm gonna do my lions. All right. I'm gonna do my lions. My lions. My dog just came and stole my spot. I can be your girl. Someone wants to be someone's girl. So it's going to be raw love, okay? This is going to be from my Leo. It is going to be now until September 10th, give or take some days, depending on your energy, their energy, whatever read I get. I am going to read intuitively, try to channel some message messages, and I'm using a deck that doesn't necessarily have images, except for the major arcana, so I will show you when I see what it is I see. Okay, alrighty then. Alrighty then, and that's that. Oh, my cat's up there too. Hi, cats. Look at my baby. Look at them. They're just little chilling. All my animals. I got Kai right here too. I got Kai right here too. The back is rocking today. Not the best sleep last night. Not the best sleep right now. Last night. What's going on, my Leos, though? My Leos, my lions, my lions. Let me hear you roar. I want to be your girl. I want to be your girl. All right, so we got the four swords. So we're healing from something. All right, with the eight of cups. So if somebody walked away, you walked away from them, and you guys didn't get a new start, and one of them is the healing from that, okay? So that's beautiful. Okay. Um, well, I mean, it sucks ass, obviously, but um, you're coming out of it. So that's that's the beauty of that part, okay? Um. I don't think you wanted to walk away, though. I think this person wanted more than what you wanted, though, so you kind of didn't have an option. All right, so you got the tower, and the tower is reversed. But it also talks about, to me, reading intuitively, this was a contract you had with somebody, so you walked away from a very strong connection. And whatever this was, was very um, unjustified, was the scales were never balanced, you or this other person, vice versa, one was given more than the other, and the tower came in, but the tower's done with, okay? So, to me, I don't feel like this just happened, though, because you've already healed, okay? And this, ha this had to have happened a while ago, and I can tell you I can feel that and sense it because, A, you're healing. You, you also walked away. There was a new start that never occurred, and I don't feel pain with this tower, could your thoughts be with this person? Yeah. But I feel like you definitely have a soul contract with some type of connection. And um, I feel like this tower already took place. Tell me about this Eight of Cups. Um, I don't think you wanted to walk away from this connection. The Nine of Swords, yeah, you are all up in your head. Or you're all up in your head now over this walk away that happened a while ago. It had to have because nobody just goes through a tower moment and heals like that. You just don't, okay? So you have anxiety about this. So I don't know what your next step's going to be. Tell me about the Fool. Because um, the Fool is now looking at the Eight of Cups. There's new stops now looking at the Eight of Cups saying... You know, I walked away from from something I possibly could have had um, a start with. A new start or another second chance or a third chance. I don't freaking know. All right. But you're now thinking about it and you're worried and you're having a hard time sleeping. That's funny. I just mentioned that, that I had a hard time sleeping last night. Well, I don't got Leo in my chat. I mean, somewhere I do, but it's weird. That's weird. All right, now we got the Empress. So I don't know if you're taking on the Empress energy or if you're thinking about an Empress. Um, but I have an Empress on the board, and I think this person has children. So either you have children or this other person has children, or you know this person knows how to nurture something. That's way too many. Um, 
because I feel like, the, I, I want to say, I feel like I, I got my cards like this in a pile, okay? It's the way I'm reading today. Um, but this Empress is over here, so I feel like it's the other one, and it's been splitting it the whole damn day, okay? So, and its back is turned, okay? So, to me, this other energy is the Empress energy, whether it's male or female, this is somebody you walked away from, so it looks like, it looks like this pile is my male energy, like my male walked away from female energy, but take this how it resonates, okay? Tell me about this Empress. And I think this Empress has a family, you know, I know it's cliche, it's the Empress, you know, but also has a business, but I don't even look at business in this particular deck. This particular particular deck with the Empress, this is telling me like this person's stable, this, she knows how to nurture, you know, she could have a business working with children, but all I know is that to me, this is straight up nurture, but this is somebody who's probably very spiritual too. This is a free bird. This is somebody who doesn't like restrictions with something. You know, this is somebody who's very, um, I want to say very spiritual, maybe into like shaman wisdom. I'm telling you, it just, it reminds me of, it's that horse. It's like the, um, what's the horse that the Indians, um, the Indians had a lot. It was like their favorite horses. I know the wild horses, but this is not, this is a type of horse, like a, um, oh, son of a bitch. I forget what these type of horses are. And I have a horse, guys. I can't think of the name of this horse. Why am I, want, I want to say Apache or something, but that's not the name of the horse. That would be a tribe. But look at the feather in the, in the hair. That's what I'm saying. Like there's, there's a link here. There's a, there's a link here to shaman wisdom. Did I just say Apache? Did I say that? I don't know what type of horse that is. Why do I not know what type of horse that is? To the tip of my tongue. But anywho, I was going to say, tell me about this Empress. This is the Nine of Pens. See, this is somebody who's very confident. This is somebody who, that's what I'm saying, like, whew. Holy confident, you're dealing with somebody that is extremely confident and secure and stable, okay? Um, and you're thinking about the past and a new start, all right? The, you got the Ten of Wands and the Six of Wands. So this person is carrying a lot of weight, but the Wands are going in this direction. So I don't, this particular Ten of Wands, all right? This, this woman's carrying a lot of weight, um... She's doing it on her own. It looks like she's independent and she's single and she possibly has a family. Um, but she's victorious with the Six of Wands and the Empress. This person is victorious. People acknowledge this person. All right, so we have the Nine of Wands reversed, so this person is not taking action to you, but still content, okay? And look at the crystal ball there. I'm this person you're dealing with is spiritual, and it's got a watch there, too, and it's like just going with the flow, like not even paying attention to the, the clock. The clock is in a different direction. Like, the, they don't even, if they look down, the clock is backwards. Like, they're not, time is not, they're just not putting action when it comes to something. I don't know what it is. All right, it's definitely not their business. I think with it being reversed and it's looking over right at this person, I, I think they're that's exactly what it is. They're just doing their own thing. So you, you are not together with this person. Any other messages for my Leos, please? So the person that's on your mind, all right? So you got the Queen of Wands reversed, another person not taking action, okay? Um, this is just additional messages, so I, I don't know if I'm not relating it to anything in particular because... I'm making a different pile. All right, with the Nave of Pence. So it's like, I feel like somebody owes somebody an apology or somebody wants to come in and give a message, but this particular person is not putting in the energy either with the Seven of Swords reversed. So it's, it's coming back around. Somebody was deceitful or, you know, self-sabotaged this own relationship on their own, whether it was you or this other person. Somebody sabotaged it, and um, maybe that's why you had to walk away from this person. But to me, I'm feeling it like, I'm not feeling it. I don't know whose energy that is, actually. Um, <clears throat> being next to the wands, you know, I would think fire energy. Something was unjustified. Um, 
Michael Hughes and with Aaliyah, but I feel like something was just unjustified in this situation. And so there was lies and your backs are turned towards each other. And I don't feel trickiness on this side with this feminine energy. I don't. I, I feel like I just don't. So it makes me feel like this is my Leo that walked away from somebody and you self-sabotaged it yourself. You lied to yourself about, I think, this connection, to be honest with you. But something was still unjustified. So I don't know if there was tricky shit. If there was another person in the picture, I'm not really sure what this particular pile is trying to tell me. Um, with the three of pence, yeah, see, maybe there was somebody else in the picture. Um because we have the Empress and the Queen of Wands reversed. All right, the Empress isn't reversed, so with the two feminine energies right here, all right, with another three of wands not going in the in the direction you thought there was going to be. Maybe there was some tricky shit. Um, and then we pulled the four of cups reversed, so somebody wants to offer something to somebody again, okay, or somebody self-indulging, all right. Um, I would consider what your next step is if this is my Leo's because... You don't want to get to your five, all right, because you're in that worry. You're already in that energy, so I wouldn't do that. You have an empress sitting pretty over here, not doing nothing, and, and very content, all right? So she knows about you, because I was just looking over there. There's the king of wands. She knows about you, but she's not putting no energy or effort into this, or she's looking at you like, this is a lazy ass. I, I know he wants to come back around, but... This person has no initiative. This person's not taking action. So I feel like she's very content, all right, with the magician. See, she's the, she or he is the magician, but this is spiritual. This cat to me is not trickiness in this deck. It's just not. All right, so one's the magician, whether it's the one, to me that it's the woman, all right, is the magician looking at the king of wands being like, I'm not putting effort into this. This is a twin. This came up in, I think, Pisces these two particular cats, but it was the Ace of Wands reversed because the gentleman wasn't taking action. This is two spiritual people. And the woman is, is the magician, but that's because she's she's mastering her own business because she's not quite at her 10, so she's mastering this. But she's also the empress, all right? And she knows that this particular gentleman, which would be you with the, the, my Leos, with the King of Wands, this would be you guys too, you know what I mean? Like, she's looking at you like, You know what I mean? Like, I don't know if you think this woman's performing tricks. Ugh, I don't want to get into that freaking energy again. But, like, I don't know. But this woman is more, I mean, if she's going to own a business, run a business, she's she's going to, she's one step away from being super, super, duper successful. Super, duper, duper successful. All right? So, the five of pence fell right on, I was just getting an additional message, fell right on the king of wands, which is telling me either the king blocked this person or the king's feeling lonely, but the king did walk away, all right? You are sitting in an anxiety, but you've also healed from whatever this is. So this person, this empress at one point had to have hurt you, or this is completely separate energy that has nothing to do with the empress, but because the five fell on the king and, the, and it's going towards the empress... You either have the Empress blocked, or you're lonely, or you, you think they're lonely, okay? So I'm going to get out of that energy, because I don't even want to go into the Pisces and Aquarius read with that energy right there, okay? Because I've only had the woman come up, up as the magician three damn times, okay? Under the same stuff, say, with the same message, okay? So... And there was no tricky shit there. And at the bottom of the deck, that was the same thing in the other two readings, too. That was the energy of the male, the king of cups, just sitting there perched, okay? But, anywho, let's um, see what else I can pull for my lions, okay? So you're thinking about why this new stat didn't kick off, or you're thinking about, you know, you're, you're reminiscing about... You know, why did I walk away? Should I have walked it away? Was it the right thing? You know, did I do the right thing? Um, I think you're wondering why on earth this energy is with you, to be honest with you, because this did happen a while ago. But this person you're dealing with is an empress, okay? Um, so I don't know if she's married. All right. And she definitely had a family, so 
she uh there's that okay so you got a nine of pence so this is telling me about somebody who's you know very confident all right with a six of swords so this is some with a six of swords this is walking away from something and this is two feminine energies so again i don't know if it's telling me if you're a feminine leo or it's the other one all right so if you're a feminine leo you know you're pretty confident and content you walked away from something okay or it's telling me about this mama oh mother frigger the seven of wands is here all right this mama in each of those reads that i was just talking about that seven of pence again was her 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 guards up so i don't know if that's what it's trying to tell me there too you know but um to me, I don't want. I just I don't want to read it like that. It's so frustrating when other people. I'm like, it's so frustrating when other zodiacs go into all those zodiacs readings. Like, it's unrealistic for me to say that, but that's the reality of it. It's, it's just frustrating to me. Um, because I'm reading for my Leos, but right now this is talking about a different energy. All right, this is not the energy of my Leos. All right, it's just not. You, you guys are not the Nine of Pentacles right now. You're you're looking at why. You're looking at why you're left, you know what I mean? Like, there's the eight of wands, thinking about sending a message with the four of cups. What kind of offer are you going to do? All right, but there's that seven of swords again, but there was some tricky shit. So I don't know if you're thinking self-deception. It's the, it's the gentleman with the seven of swords, all right, with the ten of swords. So you feel stabbed in the back by somebody or this person. My Leos do, okay? Um, but you're thinking about offering something to this particular woman. Um... And look at it, it's the Eight of Wands, all right? But look at the horses, the wild horses, and that was the Empress. So I don't know, it's like a tribe thing, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know what's going on here. I'm feeling a lot of shaman wisdom um, with this particular woman. You might carry it too. What else? Any other messages for my Leos? All right, the lovers, all right, very, very strong connection with the unknown card. So this to me is, is stock digging with the six of cups reversed. All right, with the five of pence again. All right, so I don't know if you left this person behind, but here's the sun. It's the same read, guys. Go, here's the sun, this woman. It looks like you left this woman out in the cold, all right? It's the sun, and they're stressing because this woman is the magician and the sun, okay? So you're dealing... This is my Leo's. You're dealing with somebody who's got Aquarian and Pisces in their chat, whether it's you or a cross watcher. All right, and it's the unknown. When it comes to your past, this is me. This tells me to stop digging with the unknown. All right, it's, it's unknown. All right, but you're desiring your past right now. You're Six of Cups with your lover. This is a very strong bond. Okay, Six of Cups. Six of Cups, which is on top of the lovers, which is exactly what my other read, which was an Aquarius. Okay, and you looked at this person the same way. This the other one was the woman with the magician in the sun, and I think I said that earlier. So I don't know how that just happened. Oh my goodness gracious! I'm gonna have to next time I do raw love, I gotta separate these three zodiacs. For me, it wouldn't be such a big deal if I didn't happen to do them all back to back to back, but I did because I just wasn't thinking about it. Just. There wasn't any need to. Okay. I'm going to pull your lessons. My little Leo's lessons. My little Leo's. My lions. Let me hear you roar. That just fell out. Forgiveness. All right. So I don't know. I'm harboring resentment. That blocks the flow of love. So you either want somebody to forgive you or you have to forgive yourself. Clear as day. Okay. What's going on with my Leo's? And it did look like you wanted to go in and apologize. Too many, but trust just came out. <clears throat> my Leos, my Leos, my Leos. I got the AC on because today is supposed to be like 96 out, but my toes are getting cold. My toes are getting cold. My toes are getting cold. What is this? Self esteem. All right, so you got lack of self esteem right now, but here's the thing it's like your soul kind of is telling you to go and you're not going. You're ungrateful for this person, all right? I'm thankful for my life and opportunities I've presented. So right now, you're not grateful for what it is that's even in your own life, okay? So whether it's your own life or this person, you're not grateful for this person. And you got low self-esteem right now. And one of my other reads, it was like that too, with the, the cup being reversed, no, no, not self, 
not too much self-love, but like getting there, okay? Um, you pulled abundance, so apparently you know how to manifest stuff. So bring stuff into into reality right now, okay? Um, and then judgment, all right? So to me, it's saying, you know, I understand that everyone has their own unique paths and challenges, but you're not. You're like, why is my life got to be so hard? Like a self-pity party, which is which is self-sabotage. You know, I saw that too. And it's like, you know, you have a purpose, my little Leos, my little lions, but you're not taking any initiative to go towards that purpose right now. You are feeling a little lonely, but you're not, okay? Um, you're not, okay? So just try to ground yourselves. Go outside, get some fresh air, okay? Um, let's pull you a... Play an oracle. I'm trying to think of this song. Oh, I'm trying to think of the song. Tempted to touch. That wasn't hard. All right. So yeah, definitely admiring somebody. You're definitely tempted by somebody. But the six of cups was desired. So you're very attracted to uh, this connection, this other person. There's a lot of attraction between you and this person. Um, well, you, you're very attracted to them. I don't know if it's mutual or not. I mean, that connection's there, so I'm assuming it's mutual, but you know what happens when you assume. All right, so this talks about a message, but I'm not taking it because, um, and the deceit fell on the floor, too. I'm not taking it, um, because the way they all fell out was sloppy, but that's definitely a message, and I keep seeing fragment, but, but that's, like, you feeling like, um, like you, you, maybe like you feel like you're not good enough. You did that too many. You did pull the self worth card. Maybe I don't know. But you're tempted to to go in, or tempted to message, or tempted to touch this person. All right, lust. Holy shit. All right, like that. Hello. All right, and what tempted to touch? Okay, so that's be careful. All right, because this, you don't want to go into like an illusionary frame of mind, okay, because this moon energy can do that, all right, don't be unrealistic, um, you want to love and touch and all sorts of stuff, okay, but maybe this is saying don't, don't go in like that with, uh, it's not ill intent that you're attracted to this person, but this person is stable, it looks like they have a family, there's, they're either in a business, starting a business, um, it's something, okay? And it's like, there's been growth. This person is looks to be very spiritual. It looks like this person has their head on their shoulders. It looks like a very beautiful connection. It looks like somebody who is worth exploring. But don't come at them if it's just about sex to you, okay? Because that person deserves much more, okay? And I don't know why I just look up for that person, but I'm also channeling right now, so it makes sense that you probably don't appreciate this person. So my for this is for some, okay? So my dear one, this is a symbol that lust can come before you. Beware of what it is that you toy with when it comes to this energy. You may become consumed by it. There is a fine balance between desire that is pure and obsessive when it arises, okay? It's either thrill or danger. Be careful that your desire remains good and what it is you're wanting so you don't cause yourself hurt or another. It is best for you to move cautiously forward. If you're asking about a relationship, you may be developing an obsessive fever that will take a long time to recover from. Ask yourself, what is the nature of your desire? Is it? Do you really want it so badly? Beware. There's always a hidden agenda, an agenda with lust. What is yours? Okay, so that's what I'm saying. Like, Don't come at this person if it's just sexual because... Don't do it. If you're a cross watcher, and I, I never talk like this, but if you're a cross watcher and you, you, Leo's coming at you, I'm going to tell you to watch your back because this this empress has a family. This empress is secure. This You've hurt this empress. It's, it was clear as day on my board. So if you're going to try to go in and manipulate the situation and use sex or some type of connection like that because you guys have that strong bond, that's effed up. I really hope my Leos wouldn't do that. That's straight up wrong, Okay. Karma will come back and bite you in the ass if you do that. Um, because this woman's spiritual. Maybe that's why I have her back like that. <laughs> like, she's spiritual. She's got charm and wisdom. Like, there's, she's got a family. Don't mess with her if this is just a sex thing, okay? Don't, don't do that. It's wrong, all right? There's always a hidden agenda. So, so what is yours? You know what I mean? And it was tempted to touch, so I know it's not lying. 
All right, <laughs> you're a lion, and I know it's not lion, so that's what I'm saying. Like, but I still think there's still some genuine stuff at the bottom of the deck as conclusion. All right, there was deceit in the past because I came up too, but. It, it, the door's still open, okay? So I know you're thinking about going back in or messaging this person, but I'm telling you, I have this person's back right now. Whether it's Leo on Leo, or that's just a cross watcher. Don't go, don't go because you're tempted because you're attracted to this person. This woman looks like has their shit together and, and very confident and secure and spiritual, but I think she has a family, so her back's turned to you. It looks like you walked away from this particular woman, all right? So if you're just going to go in because you want a piece of ass or you want to see where this person stands, I hope you have good intent. That bothers me, okay? Because that means there's no genuine feelings there. That means somebody's here is arrogant. And I'm looking at the bottom of this deck with the Knight of Cups that, that says, you know, someone's just sitting here perched and arrogant right now. All right, when it comes to this Two of Cups connection with the damn Six of Cups reverse because there's desire, but yeah, we're still freaking indecisive, okay? And here we go. Somebody's watching something. Somebody's watching something. But at the bottom of this deck, there was there was some shit that was, there was something that was invested, and that's the only woman on that card. So it looks like the woman did a lot of the investing. And I'm trusting, I don't got Leo in me, and I'm not dealing with a Leo. You guys are probably all like, ah, court, you know, got this person's back because, yeah, nah. Nope. All right, I because I can feel it because I'm channeling messages. Don't don't act with somebody if you don't have good intent. That's all I gotta say. Okay. Um, but I love you guys. I, I'm not saying you don't have good intent, my little Leos. Is what I'm saying is that you're so attracted to this person and it's the emperor. So I get it. So you're attracted to this person, but just don't go in just because of the attraction because. Where's the hat? Where's the soul? I, I know the connection's there, but if you're not going to go in and with the intent on talking with your soul versus the wrong head, you're going to set yourself up for failure. I don't think this mama is naive enough to fall for that, but don't do that. Don't do that because I'm telling you, I can feel it. With these channeled messages, it's so different when I can feel different groups of energy. And I, and I don't think my Leos have ill intent like that, but there's something not right there. It, the, I think my Leos might have a little denial too, and it's like, I think you're going to go in all wrong. I don't know. I just feel it, okay? Which would make sense because if it's lust and it's tempted to touch, that is going in, in a scenario the wrong way. You don't go into, that was weird, you don't go into scenarios like that. Unless it's like a one night stand, this this person over here doesn't deserve that. They deserve they deserve better. All right, they just do. It's just how I feel it right now. All right, but I love my little lions. Okay, um, just make sure if you're going in to deliver a message or anything, you have good intent. Okay, it's important. All right, I love you guys.